actually recording this spontaneously. I don't even know if I'm going to post it. But my heart is heavy and I do feel like it's morally responsible for me to just kind of come on here and um, share my thoughts about a lot of what is happening right now. I'm a Virgo. I'm an overthinker by nature. I naturally just overanalyze and do the most when it comes to my thought process. I have spent years, I'm talking about years, trying to just kind of control my thoughts and keep things as light and as positive as I can, right? Um, no judgment here, no judgment zone. I'm actually in the middle of getting ready to go to the park. We are just gonna go and have some fun in the sun today. The weather is beautiful. Um, but yeah, like I just, you know, I just really feel like, you know, I thought about going on Instagram stories um, and talking about this, but sometimes there's so much pressure. You know what I mean? There's so much pressure. And I felt like being completely unfiltered. I felt like being completely open and honest and free flowing without the need to sort of push my voice on people. Um, I feel like social media is puts a lot of pressure on people, right? Especially now. <laughs> um, and I'm, I, for one, I'm not that person that, that uh, reacts, okay? I am a thinker before a reactor. I wasn't always this way. It took a lot of, a lot of years of experience to learn how to not be so impulsive, you know what I mean? But um, with the events that have been going on recently, it was natural to be impulsive with anger, with rage, with pain, right? Um, and everyone's source of pain and, 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 and everyone's source of anger is different. Mine is different from yours. Yours is probably different from mine. But for me, you know, I'm someone who is highly, highly sensitive, number one. <laughs> I feel everything. I'm spiritual and the older I get, uh, the wiser I become. The wiser I become, the more in tune I am with my internal feelings, my internal world, my soul, my spirit. And I'm learning how to basically balance everything, right? I don't know if anyone noticed or not, but I took a week off of social media. When events started to transpire the way they were, it was just like a bomb went off and the, the media, the internet is the number one source of, you know, response and reaction and, you know, outlet and release for people. And it was just like, things got so chaotic that my anxiety was triggered really bad. Um, I couldn't eat. Um, and I know that when I can't eat, that's when things, something has to change. <laughs> Again, I'm easily triggered, which is why I recommend and this is me talking to myself at the same time. But I recommend doing things that promote your peace, right? We can't feed the anxiety. We can't feed the depression. Or at least I know I can't because I have a family. I have a child that I have to be sane for. And I have to be very mindful of what I'm consuming through the media, through the internet, through, you know... I, I First of all, I stopped watching the news a while ago. During the pandemic, I stopped watching the news once I felt like things were becoming sort of stabilized, I guess you could say. Um, once I got kind of accustomed to the new routine of being quarantined, like I was okay and I didn't feel the need to jump on the news every day and watch the briefings every day. I don't wanna go, I can't even concentrate right now. I'm trying to do my makeup before I go, but what I'm trying to say is we all, we all need to take a break. When, when we feel that our spirits are drained, our souls are drained, we need to listen, listen to that voice inside and we need to follow it, okay? I took a week off of social media. I'm still not really on social media. Like I'm kind of dibbling and dabbling. I go in and out. Um, if I feel the need, I need to post something, I'll post it and I'll log right back off, okay? Nothing personal to anyone who, <laughs> you know, who follows me or who I follow, but I just, I my peace is my priority right now. My mental health is my priority right now. And I just... I can't handle a lot of what's going on. And a lot of the reason I can't handle it is because 
I, I do a little bit of research. Um, I have my sources. I have my questions. I have my concerns. There's a lot going on that really is a lot to, um, to process. And, you know, the good thing is, regardless of the origin of all of this chaos, regardless of their intention, regardless of why all of this is happening the way all of this is happening the way it's happening regardless of it all i do believe that humans can come together for the greater good and we can you know we can rise above the bullshit and we can do what we know in our hearts is right no matter what's really happening no matter how we're being manipulated no matter what's really going on no matter what the media tells us no matter what articles are saying about the events happening, you know, no matter what we see or what we, you know, or what we, we take in, right? We know what, what's right deep down in our hearts. Like we have all the answers. We don't need any validation from anyone. You know, we know what injustice feels like. We know what oppression feels like. We know when enough is enough. And I do believe in my human race. And I do believe that we can all come together and rise above it collectively. So long as we keep things um, focused on what's right, so long as we don't get encompassed by the bullshit and the chaos, a lot of times I can't handle the fact that humans thrive off of chaos. And, um, you know, I am a peace bringer. <laughs> like, I am not, and I wasn't always this way, which is the irony, but um, like I said, you live and you learn, right? I have lived and I have learned and I know and I know what works for me and what doesn't. And I know when it's time to, to log off. I know when it's time to tune all of my energy into myself so that I can be a good mom, so that I can be a good wife, so that I can be a good person all around. I don't want to carry around a dark cloud. And that started to happen, you know, with all with all the events that were going down, the way that they were going down this entire year, honey, has just been one, you know one traumatic experience after the next and um i'm here to say that you can have the control you can do what you know is right use your voice use your voice for good use your voice to make the changes that deep down you know need to happen whether it's in your community whether it's in your own environment whether it's in your own spirit it all starts here. It all starts within, okay? And I don't want to take up too much time because I'm actually running a little late right now. But like I said, I wanted to come on here and just kind of speak from the heart, have a one-on-one -on -one with you guys and just, you know, not have the distraction of the Instagram story, you know, uh, how it cuts you off. I wanted to just speak freely, unapolog unapologetically. And I just wanted to come on here and say that I have hope and I have faith that no matter what happens we are going to be okay we are going to we're going to be okay as a community we're going to be okay as a society because like i said i have faith and you know it is always darkest before dawn always darkest before dawn and if you stick to the program if you stick to your moral beliefs and your values and you don't let the negativity consume you okay and if you let love be your guide okay if we all think that way, imagine what life is going to look like 10 years from now. If we all put in the work, you know, within ourselves to keep the peace, to keep the justice, to keep rising up, right? We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Um, I want to remind you guys, you know, not to be fearful. I want to remind you guys to use your voice for positivity. Don't use it to spread any negativity. Because people like me who are anxiety prone can't handle it, okay? We know what's happening. We see it. We see it enough. And, you know, now is not the time to sweep it under the rug. Now is the time to actually make some changes, like some real changes, you know? And change looks different for everyone. What I'm saying is if collectively we are all working towards something better, if we are all collectively working towards that change, the revolution right we're gonna come out all right you know we're gonna come out all right but let's not forget why we're here we all have a purpose on this planet 
despite what, you know, politics, you know, politics and religion, those are just two subjects that get people so angry, so riled up. So it's really hard and sometimes uncomfortable to have these conversations. But I'm thankful that I have my little YouTube platform that allows me to just vent and speak from the heart without any distraction. Um, you know, those who want to tune into this video can. I'm not forcing anyone to do it. Um, but I just want to remind us that we're, we're okay. We're going to be okay. Um, take time for yourself. Log off, dude. Like I'm telling you, like taking time off of social media is so healthy. I do this all the time and I was due for one. I was due for a social media detox. And I figured when all these things started to hit the fan, when all the events started to transpire, I, I figured it was the best time to take a break <laughs> because my mental health is priority. My, my inner peace is priority. And I always want to come from a place of love. I never want to do things just because they become trendy. Whether we want to admit it or not, death is trendy, okay? I hate to say it, but it is. And I, I don't like when things are forced upon me, whether it's through media, whether it's through, you know, any, you know, anything, you know, I like to be in control at all times. I like to be in control of what I think of what I feel. Um, and a lot of times when things go batshit crazy, you know, when things start to happen the way that they've been happening all year, you know, you just start to feel like you're shutting down and I don't want to do that. And I want to be very mindful of of how I'm preserving the life force within me. Um, you know, I'm reading a lot more now. I am doing things. Um, first thing in the morning when I wake up, I, I make it a point to meditate. I make it a point. Sometimes it's a guided meditation. Sometimes it's just me sitting in my corner, lighting my sage and saying a quick prayer for the day. Sometimes it's me doing a, a mask, you know, just to get the self-care in order, you know. Sometimes it's me going to bed early, taking a bath. Um, whatever your self-care looks like, now is the time to overindulge in the self-care. Leave the internet to a medium, to a to a minimum right now. We, 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 you know, it'll be there <laughs> when we're ready for it again. But if you're like me, it, you know, it's time to take a break. It's time to tune back into reality <laughs> a little bit and focus on what we know is real, right? And that's what we feel inside. That's what we see when we walk out of our door in the morning. You know, uh, our realities are what we see when we look in the mirror, okay? And th that is what we need to be taken care of. And I promise you, if everybody adapts that mentality of taking care of yourself, everything else around will feel the effects. It's gonna be like the domino effect. The love is going to start to spread, you know, change is real change is going to start happening. Why? Because it's coming from a real place, right? Which is right in here. And, you know, I'm no expert on these things. I just know what works for me. And I know what I need to do to keep myself right. <laughs> really quick, I'm using some um, new mascara, my Scott Barnes um, mascara. I realized in my last video that I didn't show the whole product. This is what it looks like. <laughs> um, little thick little wand there. Okay. And it comes in this little tube here. But anyways, guys, I think I said what I had to say. Um, I highly recommend journaling, writing your thoughts down. It really, 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 and you know, instead of going online and just blurting out like the first thing that comes to your mind or doing post reposting something that someone already posted, you know, how about writing something down, something that comes from you, something that comes from your mind, okay? Write it down. It's very therapeutic. Also, pick up a good book. Some good books I want to recommend to you guys. Living in the Light by Shakti Gawain. I have reread this a few times, and it's a different experience every time I read it, okay? Reading this. I'm also reading The Fifth Agreement. Um, I highly recommend reading The Four Agreements before diving into this, but... I will say that you don't need to read the four agreements because it breaks it down in this book as well, just not as thoroughly. So you can go straight to the fifth agreement. Um, I'm currently reading this right now. And you know, it, it's something that I'm doing every day. I'm an English major. I have a degree in English. So I have books on top of books on top of books and I'm making it a point. I wanna start writing again. Um, I definitely wanna start reading more and I'm gonna make it a point every day to read a little 
write a little, take time for myself a little, you know, um, without getting so caught up in everything. You know what I mean? And I do believe that if we make the changes within ourselves, if we continue to preserve our love and light and our peace, that is going to, it's going to penetrate right into everything around us. And that's what we need to focus on. Okay. Don't get consumed with hate. Don't get consumed with hate. Don't get consumed with negativity because that's what they want. They want us out here crying, breaking down, depressed, anxiety driven, searching for validation outside of ourselves. And no, we're not, that's not what we're about. I, I know my people, we're not about that. Okay. We're going to rise above this and we're going to come out stronger, better. Okay. We are modern day warriors and I have faith in us and we have everything we need right inside of us. Okay. I think that does it for today, you guys. I don't want to go on a tangent, but um, I just, like I said, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit, check in with you guys, make sure everyone is doing okay, okay? Um, I will catch you guys on the next video. Again, I don't know if this is even going to go up. It probably will. Um, but yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to keep a positive head space, um, you know, tune in, tune in to what makes you happy. Put your energy towards things that are going to benefit you in the long run so that you can continue fighting the good fight, okay? And making a difference in this world, okay? You are special. You are needed. You are amazing. And I don't want you to ever forget that. <laughs> so I'm going to finish up this quick makeup and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.